Hi guys, my name is Anna Spinky, and today I just want to share with you how the Lord has transformed my life and continued to draw me closer into relationship with Him. So I was raised in a very solid Catholic family. I'm very Im immersed in the Catholic life growing up, but it wasn't really until high school that my faith began to take on a more personal role with me as I was able to dive into it more. Um, but how the Lord drew me into relationship with Him during that time was through different crosses and struggles that he had sent in my direction. Um, for example, during my high school years, I struggled with a lot of loneliness and with the lies that I was unseen and unsought. Um, I was not worthy of being pursued by others, not worthy of being known by others. And it was through those that the Lord was able to speak truth to me and tell me that I was worth being seen. I was worth being known and he drew me deeper into the relationship through that as I faced these lies I turned to him to speak truth to me and found consolation and peace in being able to bring these struggles and this cross that I was carrying to the Lord and yeah it was through that cross that the Lord was just able to reveal his faithfulness to me and his love to me there was one specific moment when I was towards the end of high school that I was at a Catholic camp and I was just in a very low spot. I was very worn out, very drained. I had felt very distant from the Lord and was just really struggling um, with where the Lord was leading me in my life. And I remember going into a chapel that was on the camp and just kind of laying it all out before the Lord, just laying my heart before him and crying and like giving it all to the Lord. And I was asking him, like, who are you and who am I? I was just wanting to know more deeply and more fully, like, who am I to the Lord? Like, what do I mean to you? But also, I just wanted to know, like, who is the Lord? Like, who is the Lord in my life? Like, what is this relationship? And I just kept re repeating that question over and over again until at one moment, the Lord just brought a lot of peace into my heart. And he spoke very clearly to my soul as he said, very simply, like, I am love and you are loved. Like, that, that's the basis of it. Like, that's the simplicity of it. But that is a solid truth that I am love and you are loved. And at that moment, like I said, I just experienced immense peace and consolation in knowing that the Lord was taking care of me. That despite the crosses that I was carrying at that time, like, I was loved by the Lord. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you in that if you're going through a difficult time, if you're carrying a specific cross, that maybe you don't understand how the Lord is working through it. Maybe you feel like the Lord has abandoned you or you feel very distant from the Lord. Like, continue to trust in the Lord's faithfulness because even though we don't see the work that he is about right now in this moment as we're carrying these crosses, he is about a greater work and his presence is always constant. And he is a faithful God and he will not abandon us. We just have to continue to trust in him and trust that he is working everything for our greater good, for the greater good. And trust that whatever we may be going through, like, God is love and you are loved. And no matter what you're going through, like, that doesn't change. So just remember that you are loved. God bless.